Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews with the Mod Mic for Business or just Mod Mic Business. Now I'm going to start off this video with a bit of an apology. It's not up to my usual standards in terms of video quality, but I'm super short on time and I'm also finishing off the WRT32X review before leaving for Oxford. So um, yeah, sorry about that. So basically the Mod Mic Business. It's exactly like a Mod Mic 4 comes with the little mute toggle so it's like a modern mic for mute uh, but what's special about it is that in the box you also get this little USB dongle so it's not even made by modern mic it's made by uh, Siba, Cyber, whatever and um, it's just a USB sound card you get your microphone get your headphone and it's USB so if you're a business user uh, and you want your employees to have like a decent headphone and a decent microphone that's you know the whole point of a mod mic you get like proper audiophile grade headphones and you mix it with a decent microphone you can get that in the box you get these um, stick on magnets and then the microphone clips onto that now before I have a closer look at the microphone itself let's compare it to other microphones just to check how good sound quality is so I'm going to record this entire video using the mod mic business as you can see right here I'm recording it into my Rode microphone system and uh, let's swap to some other microphones now. So just like with the modern mic, I'm recording all the audio into my camera itself using my Rode system. This thingy right here, that's my Rode lavalier mic. It's about 200 euros just for this microphone. So, you know, that's probably where the sound quality difference comes from. This is a super cheap Zellman clip-on microphone, but the clip is actually pretty rubbish, so you can't actually clip it on. Uh, this one's about 10 euros, so that's what this one sounds like. Then right now you're actually listening to the microphone that's built into my Panasonic Lumix G7. It's kind of okay, but as you can hear, it's very weird sounding. And then now I'm turned around because I'm talking to my Logitech webcam right over there, and this is what my uh, C922 sounds like. All right then, so that was the audio quality of the mod mic compared to other microphones. You can, you know, make up your own mind on what sounds best according to you, but I think it actually does a pretty good job. Now, in the background, this computer has been rendering a video all video long, and um, it's a fairly silent system, but you can't really hear it in the background. It actually does fairly well with background noise. Now, this is a mechanical keyboard, but, I mean, the noise levels from typing in the background are actually fairly acceptable, I think. So... If you're in a business type of scenario where you're typing at the same time, it's probably a good you know, idea to get something like this. Now, to the more physical aspects of it, what kind of bothers me is that it's like dangling around all the time. And when I move, I can see it in the corner of my eye just wobbling about. Uh, that's also because I had to extend it slightly further and I actually had to remove the little kink. Um, while doing that, I also noticed that um, the little lock on button kind of chews away at the microphone itself so I'm not the biggest fan of the whole mechanism on how it actually mounts. Um, the magnet does mean that you can just take it off and flip it up to you know not have it in your field of view but you know you can also just adjust the microphone so that it's never in your field of view although you do kind of want it to be like at the corner of your mouth right there for optimal sound quality. So guys, that was a very short video on the mod mic business. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, overall conclusion is just get this one instead of a mod mic 4, but if you want to get something better than a mod mic 4, don't get this. I guess that's fairly simple. If you're a business person and you need that USB connector to go with it, or if you're using an Ultrabook, for example, and you don't have a dedicated microphone port, this might also be a really good option because it comes with that little USB sound card although the quality of that thing isn't super great. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more similar content, hit that subscribe button. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Massive thanks to the Patreons for supporting this channel. And if you want to get more frequent updates, there's Instagram and Twitter linked in the description below. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I gotta go edit this video and then go to school.